Are you ready to level up your investment game? Do you want to earn high returns with ETFs? Well, you're in the right place. In this video, we'll be diving into the exciting world of high interest ETFs and why they should be a part of your investment strategy. But first, let's understand what high interest ETFs are all about. These investment vehicles focus on assets that offer higher than average returns when compared to stocks, bonds, or real estate investment trusts. By investing in these ETFs, you have the potential to earn significant profits and grow your wealth. One of the key advantages of high interest ETFs is their potential for high returns. These ETFs are designed to target assets with strong growth potential, allowing you to capitalize on market opportunities and maximize your investment gains. Additionally, high interest ETFs provide diversification, spreading your risk across multiple assets. This helps protect your investments from the volatility of individual stocks or sectors, providing a more stable and balanced portfolio. Now I've got some real winners for you today that make Charles Schwab's SCHD look like a very poor choice and you'll see that when we compare these ETFs. Before we jump into today's video, I want to congratulate one of our Discord members on their winners. Beachbum said, I finally signed up for TradingView and Jerry's indicators earlier this week. These are the results for the last two days. I don't know why I didn't start using TradingView and Jerry's indicators sooner. Makes my life so much easier and the win rate is much better than me doing technical analysis on my own. Jerry's indicators give me a confirmation on my conclusion on entering a trade or not. Thanks a lot, Jerry. You are most welcome, Beachbums. You're killing it and please keep posting your winners. This is what we do in my private Discord, and if you want all of our trading alerts and help from our awesome community, then join us in the Discord. I really believe we've got one of the best ones out there, and if you want to join, the link is in the description below. We're starting with the Charles Schwab Dividend ETF as our basis for comparison because it is a very popular dividend ETF that most people know. And if you have money in SCHD, you might get mad when you see how the other ETFs I'm covering today are blowing SCHD out of the water. We'll be using tip ranks to go over our dividend ETFs and I've got a special subscription link in the description for you, so check it out. We're now in tip ranks. We're looking at SCHD and tip ranks gives us a lot of data and we've got a lot of different tabs we can look at. We're starting with analysis and year to date, we can see that SCHD is down 6.92% and that's our first bit of a red flag. Now, if we come down a little bit lower, we can see that the dividend yield is 3.75%, which isn't bad, but it's not very good compared to what else I'm gonna be showing you today. We can also see that the analyst consensus is a hold. They're showing it as 3.78% of upside with a target price of $80.14. We can see hedge fund trend has increased. The crowd wisdom is positive. Blogger sentiment is bullish. And then some of the things I like on this page is we can see the top 10 holdings. And if we scroll down below that, we can see the ETF description where it's easy to understand what we're looking at. And this tells us SCHD tracks a market cap weighted index of 100 dividend paying US equities. And then we can look at a couple of the other tabs. The analyst forecast, it gives us a little more information. We can see we've got 899 ratings on SCHD. 43.49% are buy, 45.94% are hold, and the overall consensus is a hold. Here again, we've got the SCHD price target. And one thing I like about this page is we can see the stocks with the highest upside potential. Everything is listed, and you can see the analyst consensus. It's all shown right here, quick and easy to look at. And and then we can see with the highest downside potential as well. We can also get, check out all of their different holdings and they currently have what, 102 holdings as of May 24th. So here's our first page and then we've got a couple more pages right afterwards. And then the other thing that's really handy is if we click on the dividends tab, we can see the dividend yield, dividend growth, the analyst consensus, and we can see how much and when it has happened. And then if we scroll down a little bit further, we can see the dividend yield range and then we can see the dividend history. And we always wanna make sure they've got a nice history and SCHD is paying a quarterly dividends. And again, Schwab is our basis for comparison. Now I wanna look at JEPI, which is JP Morgan's Equity Premium Income ETF. And this is a very popular ETF. They've got a real nice dividend yield of 11.42%. We can see year to date, they are up 2.58%. And again, this stock, a lot of people love it. I do think we've got a better choice. I'll cover that in just a moment. Uh, we can see right now it's currently rated with an eight as an outperform. Moderate buy is the analyst consensus. The price target is 61.65. 
5 and we've got 13.88% of upside. And then I love to look at the short description right here. JEPI is an actively managed fund that invests in large cap US stocks and equity linked notes. It seeks to provide similar returns as the S&P 500 index with lower volatility and monthly income. If we come over and look at the analyst forecast, we can see they're very big on this one. We've got over 2,000 ratings. Again, that, again, that price target is 61.85. Stocks with the highest upside potential, the highest downside potential. And then we'll drop over to the dividend chart here. We can see they've been paying dividends. Right now they're leveling off right about 40 cents. Dividend yield is 11.42%. And then the yield range where it's at. So it's the high side of the range and coming down just a little bit. And then we've got the dividend history and they are paying a nice monthly dividend. And I love monthly dividends because we don't have to wait an entire quarter or semi-annual or annually for those dividends to come out, which means it's easier for us to get in and out of the stocks if we want to get out of them quickly. Up next, we've got one you may not have heard of. This one is the QRMI for the ticker symbol, and it is the Global X NASDAQ 100 Risk Managed Income ETF. And the current price on it is nice and low at $18.22 per share. In one year, they are up 11.17%, and here is their year-to-date chart. So they've got a real nice upward trend going on the stock price, and the dividend yield is very good at 12.25% as well. Now let's scroll down and see what these guys do. QRMI tracks an index that holds NASDAQ 100 stocks while employing an options caller strategy. The fund buys 5% out of the money put options and sells at the money covered call options on a monthly basis. So that's what these guys do. And then if we look at the analyst forecast, right now they've got it rated as a moderate buy and this is a very popular ETF. There's over 2,000 ratings on it. The price target is $19.76, which is 8.4 5% of upside. And then if we look at their different stocks, the highest upside potential, we've got Moderna, Warner Brothers Discovery, JD, PayPal, and Enphase Energy. The highest downside potential right here on the right hand side. And then let's come down and take a look at their dividends. Again, that yield is 12.25% and they are paying monthly, which I love. We can see their dividend yield range has been doing exceptionally well, trending up. And then here is their monthly dividend history. Next up, we've got NUSI, which is the Nationwide Risk Managed Income ETF. The price is $20.48 per share. Year to date, they are up 14.93%. So that's a nice increase, steady upward trend here. Their dividend yield is pretty good here at 7.43%. And then if we come down, check out their top 10 holdings. Most of these are companies that you guys know. We've got Microsoft, Apple, Nvidia, Amazon, Google. Here's the weighted percentage of each of them. And then what do they do? NUSI is an actively managed portfolio of stocks included in the NASDAQ. NASDAQ 100 index combined with an options caller. The fund seeks to generate current income with some downside protection. For the analyst forecast, it's rated as a moderate buy. Again, very popular, over 2,000 ratings. We've got a price target of $22.29, which is 8.85% of upside. And then checking out the dividends here, 7.43% yield. The dividend amount per share has been very steady over the last year. And here is our range, pretty much going sideways, just over 7.5%. And the dividend history, we can see it as monthly, which I love. We're now looking at QYLD, which is the Global X NASDAQ 100 covered call ETF. It's currently trading at $17.60 per share. Year to date, they are up 15.77% and their dividend yield is very impressive at 11.54%. Coming down, let's see what they do. QYLD tracks an index that holds NASDAQ 100 stocks and sells call options on those stocks to collect the premiums. Now you guys have to ask yourself, are the stocks you're owning getting a 15.77% uh, return year to date? Probably not for a lot of you. So that in itself is doing very well. And when you combine that with a very strong dividend yield of 11.54%, this is one that you guys definitely want to consider and check out. Now, if we look at the analyst forecast, the target is $19.09, 8.45% of upside. We can see again, their highest upside potential stocks, highest downside potential. And then if we come down and look at the dividends, we can see that yield again is 11.54%, very steady on the dividend amount per share. Uh, we can see that the range has been trending down a little bit. And then here's the dividend history pays monthly. 
Next up, we've got BCAT, which is BlackRock Capital, and the current price is $15.16 per share. Year to date, it's up 12.55%. And we don't have as much data on this because we've got no analysts covering it, but we can check out the technical analysis tab to show you another feature of tip ranks. And here we've got a summary rated as a strong buy, buy on the oscillators, moving averages, also a strong buy. And then let's drop down to our dividends and we can see what they have been paying. It's obviously paying monthly dividends. Uh, not too bad. The dividend range is coming in right at 10% and we can see their dividend history paying monthly. And now the last one we're looking at is JP Morgan's NASDAQ Equity Premium Income ETF. The ticker is JEPQ. And this is the newer, prettier cousin of JEPI. I've had a lot of people ask me, do I prefer JEPQ or JEPI? And it's definitely this one. And this is the one that I currently own right now. Taking a look over the last, uh, Year to date, they are up 21.29%. So these guys are up the most out of any of the other stocks we've covered so far today. Their dividend yield is impressive at 11.95%. Checking out the analyst forecast, they're covered by over 2,000 analysts. They've got 7.66% of upside and a price target of $50.96. Looking at their stocks with the highest upside potential, we've got the list on the left, downside on the right, and then let's come over and take a look at the dividends. Again, a yield 11.95%. If we check out that dividend yield range, look at this, heading up, love to see that. And then here we've got the dividend history. And now what I wanna do is if we scroll down just a little bit, we can see JEPQ ETF news. Let's take a look at this growth ETF has a massive 11.4% dividend yield and it pays monthly. And for this article, I want to point out just a couple of things. So what is the JEPQ ETF? JEPQ is similar to the more established JEPI, but this tech-focused ETF invests specifically in large-cap U.S. growth stocks. JEPQ launched in 2022 and is currently much smaller than JEPI with $1.75 billion in assets under management. Like JEPI, this ETF pays a dividend on a monthly basis and features an attractive yield, in this case, 11.4%. And then JEPQ's strategy is to generate income through a combination of selling options and investing in U.S. large cap growth stocks, seeking to deliver a monthly income stream from associated option premiums and stock dividends. In addition to generating monthly income, JEPQ also tries to mitigate volatility, aiming to deliver a significant portion of the returns associated with the NASDAQ 100 index with less volatility. And we can see this has happened, and that's why they've had the best year-to-date growth of any of the stocks covered today. And then the the last thing I want to go over is the investor takeaway. Uh, these investors should also be aware that JEPQ structure means it most likely won't have quite the same upside as the growth tech stocks it invests in. In the event of a tech bull market, Ultimately, for investors who are content to make that trade-off in exchange for the substantial dividend payout and lower volatility, this is a sensible ETF to own. And then the last paragraph talks about the author pairing it with JEPI. He likes to own both for the diversity. Again, JEPQ is my number one pick, and this is the one I'm looking to buy more of. Here's the actual JEPQ trade alert I sent out way back in February, and we're up 11% on the stock, plus we've been collecting monthly dividends. JEPQ is currently my favorite high yield dividend stock with a 12% dividend yield, monthly dividend payments, and the stock is up 16.4% year to date. Check out this chart. We've had multiple buy signals on JEPQ and I'm planning on buying more soon. I also have an alert set up for when it bounces off the 20 day EMA, which is a great time to buy as well. Remember, success in trading doesn't happen overnight. It takes dedication, continuous learning, and implementing proven strategies. With the right mindset and the knowledge you've gained today, you're well on your way to achieving your financial goals. As always, have a phenomenal rest of your day. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Grab some free stocks from Moomoo and Weeble, and don't forget to try my indicators for free. The links are all down below, and my trade alerts are in my Discord. Thank you so much for watching, and I'd love to see you back here on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Peace.